What is up, my optimistic empire? It's good to see you. Do you like the AEW hat? Looks good on me, doesn't it? Really does. Well, um, this is another update video to let you guys know, as it says in the title, the tour continues. Yep. <sighs> I know, it just feels like I got back from a tour, right? You know, in Chicago, where AEW all out, Rampage, at the Chicago Cubs game. Which, by the way, all of them, maybe except for Rampage, was worth it. Everything on that was fantastic. So, things are continuing. Except this time, it's a little different. Folks, this Sunday, I am heading off to Columbus, Ohio. Driving six and a half hours to Columbus, Ohio. To attend WWE Extreme Rules. Or regular rules, given the fact we got little to no stipulations in that. More about that on the Losers Lounge podcast this Friday. But anyway, uh, another thing going on is I'm going from Columbus, Ohio to Rochester, New York. I'll be in Rochester for three days on Monday the 27th to Thursday the 30th of September because I'm going to be spending time with family, potentially. Depends on how COVID regulations are going over on their end. And i um, attending AEW Dynamite. That I, I've had that ticket since January 2020. It was supposed to be in March of 2020 before the pandemic hit. And then, of course, that was supposed to be the night the late Brody Lee was going to make his debut. So if COVID never existed, I would have seen that personally myself. That would have been an amazing reaction given Rochester is his hometown. Ah. <sighs> Rest in peace. So, I've been hanging on to that ticket even when the constant delays have been happening, whether it was postponed to this day or that day. Just kept going on and on and on. And then one day I just thought about honestly refunding the ticket because I figured this pandemic's just going to continue and it's never going to take place. But no, that ends, folks. Next Wednesday, AEW Dynamite takes place in the Blue Cross Arena in Rochester, New York. And thanks to the ticket that I got that is legal for the rescheduled date, I will be there. I will be at Blue Cross Arena in Rochester on West September 29th, and I'm excited. But it doesn't end there, folks. Nope. Here's the thing. Here's a cool part. I'm going from Rochester, New York, down back to Virginia. You'll remember my brother, right? Long neck Josh. The guy who was inducted in my Optimistic Hall of Fame and then hasn't been seen on my channel since then. Well, um, he's performing. He's part of a marching band and a lot of other things music related because he's majoring in musical performance at Christopher Newport University. So I will be there on the weekend of October the 1st to the 3rd because uh, he's performing in both. His marching band is performing for both a college football game and also for a special concert. So, on Saturday, October the 2nd. And I'll be there for that. Can't wait to support him for that. I've always wanted to see this. I watched him perform when he was still in high school. I came down in 2019, same month, October. To watch him perform. And it was a success. I loved it. Every bit of it. So, I'm returning. That's going to be great. I cannot wait for that. Then, of course, Monday, October 4th is when I'm coming back home. So, if you look at things, I'm going to be busy for over a week. So, that's why I want to give you this update here. That while I got a Sins video planned out for you guys this upcoming Monday, which I'll release when I arrive at my hotel in Rochester, um, Sins videos may pause for a while. Just for a little while, because pff, I'm going to be on tour. I'm going from Columbus, Ohio, from my kingdom of Toronto to Columbus, Ohio, to Rochester, New York, to Virginia. Crazy, huh? I got a long week ahead of me. And I'm excited for it because traveling and attending things again, it just, it's a comfort zone for me. And I've been through a lot of stressful situations recently, which caused a lot of slowdowns. And trust me, I hate them. But no matter what, folks, I never once got rid of my optimism to you guys. I never once got rid of my dedication to y'all, no matter what. So, 
that's what's going to happen. Uh, because I'm going to be on tour, it may be a while before the Extreme Rules 2021 Sins video will be released, so probably think about it in the middle of October. Third week, maybe fourth week, one of those two. Probably before Crown Jewel, or maybe a little after, I don't know. But I just want to let you guys know, the tour is continuing, I'm excited, and it's going to be fantastic. The tour will also continue in November, but more on that later, more on that another time, because right now we need to focus on the here and the now, because if we focus too much into the future, things might get a little scrambled, and you know, you don't want things to get over overly stressed. I know I don't. Thank you guys for the constant support. And I know I've seen the comments that say they don't like my blonde hair. Well, guess what? My hair is blonde, my hair is long, and I look better than you. That's only to the haters, though. To all the supporters, love you guys for life. <laughs> I love this hat, by the way. When I got it at the Now Arena, it was it's really good. I love it. All right, folks. Don't forget to think optimistically. And don't worry. No, I'm not wearing this to the Extreme Rules, because if I did, it'd get confiscated, because... Pfft, it's WWE, you know how they are. All right, folks, thank you guys for watching. Uh, the tour continues this Sunday. There will be vlogs for Extreme Rolls, Dynamite, and when I'm at CNU. So I'm excited for that. So don't worry, you're going to get content. Losers Launch Podcast this Saturday and Friday to predict Extreme Rolls, but there will not be a podcast the following week to review it because I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be on, on, on the road. All right, folks. Love y'all forever, forever, forever. And don't forget to think optimistically.